What's up guys, we are back with another Persona 3 video. Uh, can I remove this ad? Yeah. Okay, so today I'm going to do a tier list of all the villains in Persona 3. And I'm going to rank them, I'm going to give my like whole thoughts about them, why I think they're in this position, why I think they're in this position. And if you want, you can give your thoughts in the comments below, like who do you think should be here, who do you think could be here. Again, this list is not definitive. Everything is opinion based. All of this is, I'll just try to prove my point more i need to find a way to get better pictures or find a way if you know like give me some like pointers on how to make these better pictures so starting at the bottom i gotta put shuji now i would again spoilers are in this because obviously if i want to explain them i need to go into the spoiler territory so be warned spoiler warning so let's talk about shuji i think shuji himself like they can fix him in reload, right? They can fix him in reload. But right now, as I played fast, what I didn't like about Shuji is that they really just went in with the roots route with... Obviously, P3 came first, but if you don't know, P, like 4 or 5 in personal games have this thing. A reveal character. I won't spoil more into it. Uh, I shouldn't do that, but a reveal character. Shuji himself is fine, but him turning out to be a villain... Like, if Reload comes out and it's like, if they just say, oh, Shuji, we, the audience knows, or the player knows that Shuji is a villain, but, like, the team doesn't know. We, as player, like me, Randy Gash playing, Makoto and the others don't know that Shuji is a villain. I think that might work, but I still don't know how they can work on it. Shuji is a villain, like, here's the thing. I was, like, I was, like, playing P3 Fest, I was like, oh, yeah, Shuji is a villain. It's easy. Like, it's easy to tell he's a villain. He has too much knowledge how, like, yeah, he's the villain. I don't know what his game was, but I, like, he's the villain. My main concern was that, okay, so the seas is filled with, like, orphans, most of them. Or, like, not orphans, then they're, like, like Junpei does not, is a lot of half orphans or full orphans. But, like, then if they have other parents, they're not really with them. Fuka is the only one that has both pa both parents. Yes. And Fuka, I don't know, Junpei has, does not have a mother, if I'm correct. I don't know. But, like, Junpei's dad is a drunk. Fuka's parents have other issues. And, like, Yukari's mom, other issues. Dad, dead. And then Makoto has no mom and dad. And then, here's the thing, you might think, oh, then maybe there's this whole fatherly figure, so it's gonna be pretty sad. But, like, what happens is, Shuji just goes out and kills Takeharu, and, like, everybody in the dorm does not give two, my mother has two shits about Shuji. Everybody's like, what was this guy talking about, the fall and stuff? Like, they, like nobody was like, oh, Shuji was, like, a father to us. And, like, they never treat him. Like, if they had, like, done something like Dojima or something, where, like, Okay, so you can, like, talk with him, but Shuji has this whole, listen, I'm an adult, you gotta listen to me. He has some dominance over them because he's an adult, he understands more stuff. But no. Honestly speaking, I think this is, this guy sucks. And I think you know who's gonna be up next. I think Jin is terrible, but here's the thing. You might say, well, I think Jin has nothing, Shuji has something, and that makes Jin better. Oh, that makes Shuji better. Uh, it, now, this is something people are going to hate where I'm going to put. And if you can, like, interchange it. I don't really care about these two. Like, change it how we want. Uh, Jin has nothing. I watched... Uh, I'm talking about the games here, but I watched the movie. And he's like, he's worse in the movies. I'm sorry. Like, he's worse in the movies. Here's the thing with Jin. Jin literally is part of a group of the main villains. Strega. He is like... How can I put it? He is like in Persona 5 you see um, uh, the Palace Masters. I won't spoil but Palace Kings, whatever it was called. I, he's like that kind of villain where they are a hurdle to their... I, like He's not like that, but he's these are like main villains that are not main, main villains. I'll just get to Nyx and I'll explain it. But basically what happens is... Like he's not like pa Palace Masters. So his, let me just clarify. Persona has this gimmick where you have human villains and then you have something like Nyx and then P5 has theirs and 4 has theirs. So sh these guys are the main villains, but they're not the main villains, the Strega. Jin has nothing. Now, this is gonna, people gonna like get mad at it because they'll say, well, Shuji and all of these can be done better in Reload. But the thing with Jin is, Jin has nothing, but I can feel like in Reload he can improve. He's still terrible, he sucks, but he has the potential. Like, there are, the thing with Persona 3 is, which I hope they kind of fix and reload. We know their backstories, a lot of characters, but they don't really go into in-depth with it. 
we know that these guys were experimented by Kirijo group and like stuff. He was the 10 years ago experiment. And we know that Jin is like very prominent in social media and stuff. I kind of like one thing in the movie, like I won't spoil, but there was like a cult type thing which they did. And like they were like, oh yeah, Jin is probably because of his influence can do this. So like Jin has something. But at the end of the day, they, they, they did not do anything with him. He, like, Shidori literally has, like, a navigation persona. They I feel like if they give that to Jin and with his smarts, he would have been really good. Like, in the game, Jin is, like, the voice of reason. But, like, they also removed that in the movie. The voice of reason becomes Takaya. I don't know why they did that. But, yeah. <laughs> That's what I really have to be honest with next i don't know how to call this guy this guy's called question mark question mark question mark you can say shadow magoto like stuff like that i don't know give me a moment i actually had to change something so like i had thought of something i thought like i made takaya but takaya thought just thought now that i should put above um this guy i like the cons so i like the concepts of like these demons inner demons or whatever everybody's like kaiju monsters and stuff I like the concept of this guy, question mark, question mark, question mark, that's what he's called, like question mark, question mark, question mark, that's what he's called, you can say Shadow Makoto, let's just say Shadow Makoto, uh, Shadow Makoto himself, I think, I really like the concept, I don't, I will not discuss boss fights in it, but I like where story I would like to discuss in terms of story, and let me explain, in the boss fight, if you bring like, except for Metis, whoever you bring, he's gonna use their personas against you, so if you have like, like, this picture took me a while, this isn't my picture, by the way, this is like, some YouTubers, I, I, I just found it on Google. Um, so if you have I guess she's gonna use what was I guess is uh, like oh my god I don't know their uh, awakened personas. Oh I just saw the meme. This this guy was uh, I forgot. Oh my god Akiko. But like Mitsuru's I think. Oh Yukari is Isis. Like like if you have Isis here, he's gonna use Isis on you. And the other personas I remember they're non awakened one like Polytheses and stuff, but. Penthesilia, but I don't remember the awakening one. But if you like use like except for Mattis, he'll just copy your personas, which makes sense. He's Makoto, he has multiple personas, but he at the same time is the abomination of what like these everybody's because they can't forget Makoto. So I really like this concept. And the whole cutscene of him is like horrific and stuff. I really love it. But I feel like it, these two suck. After these two, like all the villains are good. It's just I like more now Takaya. Like I like the other ones more. Uh, I have seen people call Takaya bad. I can kind of see why. But, hear me out. I see people come out and say, oh, they should make Takaya more sympathetic. He should have a sad backstory. For Jin, I agree. For Takaya, I don't. Takaya is pure evil. He has some sympathetic sides. Like, if you go to, like, the end moments where he's dying and he's like, oh, Jin, I wish you could see this. Or he's, like, fainting or something whatever um i like the takai's pure villain if they want to make him sympath sympathetic make him towards strega because like he didn't shoot shidori he shot junpei and stuff make him sympathetic but don't make him like oh i'm killing you because i have a sad backstory no he should be like i'm evil i whenever i played persona 3 i compared takaya to J jujutsu kaisen sukuna now, if you don't know Jujutsu Kaisen, Sukun is a villain. I won't get into it. But he's a villain for the sake of villain. He has no backstory and stuff. He might have, but, like, it's not something, like, he go, he's a villain for, because he's a villain. I like this character. So, I'll give you an example. Back in the day of, like, if you know, like, back in the day when Dragon Ball was famous, all the villains in Dragon Ball all were just pure evil. Naruto came along, gave, like, some refresh new take and gave characters backstory villains and stuff. And, like, broken heroes concept. So, like, I can understand maybe in 2000, I mean, it's still late, but maybe in 2009, people didn't like Takaya. But now that, like, after Naruto, you look at My Academia, Fairy Tale, Demon Slayer, like, all of these shounen action animes start this whole backstory having sad stuff and a villain is like a broken hero or something bad happened to it that it leads to him being a villain. I don't like that anymore. Like, I actually now like pure villains and stuff. I think the music stopped. I don't know what. Uh, just ignore I think the background myself like I'll just continue um I don't like their concept at all like make this guy he's a pure villain just he's a pure villain give him some backstory sympathetic but his will like he's a villain for the sake of villains like yeah I'm I'm, I'm I'm a terrible guy I I'm I will kill you he literally I like the fact he was there in front of Ken a little kid and then like Shinjiro 
And like he was like, I have this gun. I'm gonna kill you both. He was ready to kill Ken. The others came off and he was like, okay, yeah, I gotta leave. I can't take them out. Like he leaves. Like I like that he was like, okay, I have this gun. Let me just shoot. You. I have this blicky. You're dead. Like I like this concept. He is, he is ruthless. I like this kind of villain. People don't like it. I love it. Now the other one. Let's talk about Erebus. Erebus. Again, like I said, kaiju monster. I won't go into the boss fight. I'm not a fan of his boss fight, but I won't go into it. Erebus, I like the concept that, like, they kind of foreshadow it as well. So when you fight Nyx, Nyx is, like, two, like, the Seas members. Or, at that time, the Nyx Annihilation team. Like, to the Nyx Annihilation team, uh, Nyx, is, uh, Nyx was like, okay, if only more people like you existed who, like, didn't want that. But my existence is based on the fact that other people want that. Erebus is that. Erebus is like everybody's whole desire to die and stuff, whatever. And like uh, the great seer done by Makoto Yuki and like he just goes there. And like I won't spoil Arena, but there's also some uh, thing about that I know. I haven't played Arena story, but I know about that one. So Erebus is there, like he's just there for a reason. And like now the ne Seas or Nexal Annihilation team, whatever you want to talk about, like looks at like beats Erebus and they're like, oh yeah, we need to like try to remove the whole that concept from other people's mind and they uh, go out with their life and do good things to actually remove that concept i really like that this is a character that they introduced he's just evil and he's a, like a monster but he's not like oh he, he his existence has a reason he is evil for the sake that other people want him it like if the thought of him is removed boom Erebus is gone i like the concept that oh the now the seas member have something to look forward to look towards i love that a lot of people hate the answer i personally don't hate it i love it and uh, the next let's just let's just put the top two easily next is one i'll talk about shidori now uh shidori is the character where i feel like is the reason i go make takaya for evil shidori is the character which is like she is like uh, how can i explain it like She's like here and she just redeems herself. Uh, I like... In Reload, they gotta put some effort into the backstory of Strega. But I like the fact that she has this concept on her mind. Everybody needs to die. That is something not to be feared of. She meets Junpei. She's like, oh, Junpei, you suck. You just spout nonsense. But like, she respects Junpei and she realized, I have something to live for. And she sees that, like, in her whole mind... She sees the Kirijo group experimenting on her. She's like, she does. She doesn't care about pain because, like experiments. We we don't know what the experiments were, but we can tell it's about. It was pretty ugly, because they were like forcing them, forcing personas out of them and stuff. And then you look at Takaya Jin, and it was like, they have the same concept. So the people she is meeting with, like, basically has the same concept of, that doesn't thing to be feared of. And then she met she meets someone she cares about, and it's Junpei. And then it's like, she's like, oh no, I fear death because there's someone I care about. But at the end, she's like, I do fear death, but there's someone I want to live with. Man, I'm getting emotional, what the hell. Um, I won't cry on this. This is such a good scene. But like, Chidori's like, I have someone who I want to live for, and but now I'm dying for that person because I want that person to live. I like this whole, like, they took the whole death concept and made it really poetic. And that's the reason, like, Shidori works as a character because I feel like she, like, I have... Like, I made a short where, I'm like, I'll talk about the shipping of Persona. And in that, I was like, do whatever you want with the MC. I just find it weird that you make, like, villains in the MC are together, even though some villains are psychopaths. But I like, again, it's the MC, do whatever you want. I was like, do whatever shipping you want to do because you it's the MC. It's a JRPG role-playing game. But never ship anyone with Junpei or Shidori because they are meant together. I'm like, that... Of a stand for these guys but again i can't stop the internet so do whatever you want um but i like the whole concept of shidori just like you can like argue me into like this but I i'll come to next why i like it more uh again like i'd say it again she has a good backstory she has a redeeming quality give this guy a backstory give him like emotional backstory like crying to the ground he's like dying and takai's like i'll save you i'm the light whatever and like make takai pure evil like, do that, and I think Strike are, like, easily amazing. Let's talk about Nyx. I feel like Nyx, 
in Persona 3, 4, and 5. I don't I don't want to call him the best villain. Yeah, I think the four... Not the four Nixie Colon is the best villain, but like someone else. I won't spoil four. Um, he is up there. He's one of the best. Like, he might be one or two, like, something like that in Persona 3, 4, 5. I haven't played one. I haven't completed one. I haven't played two, so I won't spoil on that. I've heard, like, in two, people love that villain as well. But let's talk about Nyx. Like I talked about Erebus, Nyx is like... Like, if I give an example of Nyx, Nyx is like... If you've seen Dragon Ball, I've compared Dragon Ball a lot. I love that series. Is like Beerus, the Destroyer. Beerus, like, let me compare it to him. He's not like, he's not exactly like Beerus, but let me come. Nyx is like, I'm here to do a job. That's all I want to do. Is because people wanted death. I'm here to give them death. Beerus is like, I'm a destroyer. I'm a, I have a job. He isn't like everybody wants that. He's like, I'm a destroyer. You have to maintain balance and stuff. Before creation comes destruction. Like, destroy this and then create another. Something like that is the concept. Like, they don't dive into that, but Dragon Ball isn't that complex at all. Nyx, I will also add Ryuji to this because he is basically Nyx. I won't go into that, like, argument. Like, if you think Ryuji is a separate character, no way. And especially in the movie, he's they're, like, same. But, like, Nyx in the game is a bit different. Like, so, Ryuji is, like... I don't want you to die. I don't want you to suffer because you can't kill Nyx. In the movie, I liked one thing, but I won't... Like, this is all game, so I'm not putting the movies into it. But, like, I, in the game, I... F like, Ryuji's, like, destroyed Aegis. And Ryuji's like, oh, yeah, you're gonna die. And nobody just questions it. They're like, hey, we don't know how powerful this Nyx is. But we're just agreeing with this dude named Ryuji. I like in the movie how Ryuji's, like, beat the crap out of everyone. He's like... Nyx is way stronger than me, and if you can't beat me, how can you beat Nyx? Like, we're just, like, standing there, it's like, dude, I'm way str Like, I'm not even, like, an inch of what Nyx is, and you can't even beat me. And, like, I like that in the movie a lot, and the game is, like, they, like, he beats Aegis easily, and they're, like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, when, I guess it's pretty powerful, but, like, still. But at the same time, I like the concept of Nyx. It, like, really... Like, I like this concept because they took the concept of death and then give Nyx a form, which is I really love. And, like, they also added the fact that they kept their thing. Nyx can't be killed. Makoto didn't kill Nyx. We all know that. If you don't know, play the answer. Makoto does not kill Nyx. Heck, you can even play the journey and you can see the move is called the Great Seal. He seals it. And Makoto has the Universe Arcana, so he's, like, probably the strongest of the... Personal protagonist, I haven't played one or two, I don't know. But basically, neither Narkami nor Joker can kill Nyx. And people make this argument, I've seen, oh, the P5 one is stronger because he had attacked Igor. It's like, Nyx is not a villain. Nyx is an entity that exists for the sake of, like, the concept of death. He exists because people want death. He is here to do what other people want. And that's what I love about it. He is all powerful. He's, he's like really powerful. When I think he's the strongest one. I think people say P2 villain is strong. I don't know that much in detail. But he's like the strongest of the P3 villains. Or Persona villains. And his he, he can't be killed. Whatever they talked about Nyx. They kept that in. Can't be killed. He's the personification of death. People want death. They showed us Erebus. People want death. He exists. He's, he's, he's the shadow of death basically. And Nyx is the bring like he brings death that's the whole concept that's why i love nyx and i think i should put this in because i feel i've seen like people do this tier list by the way this is enf this is not cnd um did i put you in? honestly yeah just come here like movie at all i think these two are failures like i was like he could improve but i think that's stupid this is how i, I actually did put question mark about uh takai but then i was like no no takai might be better but i've done it like this well Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to take a sc screenshot, a pic of it, and then put it on community and be like, oh, I made this video. You can give it all to analysis if you want explanation, watch the video. Like, comment, subscribe, click on notification bell. Tell me what do you guys think. Do you think that my list is good or do you think my list needs work? By the way, I just keep them for fun. Yukari I kept because people say in the answer, Yukari is like ruined, so she's a villain. Ken because he's like, Shinjiro, Shinjiro, I must kill you. And I just made it. I, d I thought maybe I should keep, but like the whole pedophilia thing, <laughs> I kept. Femsy here. For, this is for fun. These are not villain, obviously. Uh, I hope I didn't forget any villain. 
Tell me in the comments below, do you want me to see do full moon bosses one and uh, the Taurus bosses I might do if people a lot of people want it, but it's a bit of a pain, but I will do it if people want it. But these are my I think seven is Shuji Kutsuki, Jin is six, five is question mark, question mark, question mark, or Shadow Makoto, four is Takaya, Erebus is three, two is Hidori, and one is Nyx. Tell me what do you guys think? This is the whole should I put you here? No, you're B. I think I'll do this because I did say you can change these. I do this because you can like interchange. Like I do these tiers on the basis of you can like interchange them. You can tell me like, I still think no, but you can like say Shidori is one. But hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Get on the figure about. I'll see you guys next time and talk about again. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye, 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 peace. Subscribe and try to reach a thousand subs and monetization, I guess. Do people, YouTubers do that? They just say, I'm going after monetization. Because isn't that frowned upon? I don't know. Like, come subscribe. Bye. And tell me what I do. Uh, the next one might be the dancing video one. Dancing of P4. Maybe. I'll see. Bye. Depending on what I do. Bye, 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 bye.